What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Chapani, and I'm coming at you today with another video. Um, this probably will be up before my snack haul video and my DIY headboard video, just because I have to edit those videos and put some clips together. And this video will be one take. One take. I always do that. One single take, so I won't have to edit or anything, so I can just go ahead and upload it to the computer and put it on YouTube. Anyways, I did record a video like a few months back about what school I was going to. It's kind of like a reveal, but I don't think I really actually told you guys how I felt about the school and how I felt about my decision. Like, do I regret it? Do I feel like I made the right choice? Am I happy? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But basically, I am going to Oneonta State. If you can't see the shirt. But I'm going to Oriana State. Um, I'm really, really excited, you guys. It's funny because when I first um, started YouTube, I think you guys, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I think I did mention it. Go watch my past videos from when I first started. And when I first started applying to colleges, Pace University was my first choice. Like, honestly, you guys, it was Pace. I was like, I'm going to Pace. I'm going to be in New York City. And then it's weird because then I found Oriana and I kind of just fell in love and it was just like, you know, and not to mention that it was cheaper, um, closer, so it kind of like outweighed the pace in a few ways. So, yeah, the main reason why I chose Aniana, honestly, I don't know why, you guys, but when I looked at SUNY, the other SUNY schools, I really didn't like any of them. I don't know why, I just didn't. Aniana kind of just stuck out to me, and that's the one I chose. But the main factors on why I, I talk with my hands a lot, you guys, if you haven't noticed, so if I feel like I'm Anyway, <laughs> but the main reason why I chose Oriana was because it is a small school, small campus, which I'm sure most SUNY schools are, but specifically about Oriana, it is a small campus. It's like close and tight knit. It has like family owned businesses. And I chose this school because where I live at in New York, it's a very small city. There's three elementary schools, one middle school and one high school. So everybody knows everyone. Class classes are probably like no more than 25, you know, it's really small. Everybody knows everybody. You know, family-owned businesses. It's just a nice, cute community, and that's what I'm used to. So, I didn't think I'd be able to handle like a huge university with like thousands and thousands of kids. I honestly could not do that because I'm so used to the small setting, and that would just be too much for me. And I personally like the one-on-one -on -one type of experience and the intimate feel of having that, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with your professor and your classmates. You know, because when you're in a class of 30 to 50 people, you don't really feel as if you're there. You kind of just feel like you're just in the crowd. Like you don't really you know, know what you're doing. So I wasn't really looking for anything like that as far as, as, far as a big campus. Um, so yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I chose Oniana. Uh, and I just, I don't know, you know how you just get that feeling. For anybody that's in college right now or that chose their college already and you're watching this, you know how you just got that feeling like in your heart like it felt right like your heart kind of just got happy that's how it sounds corny but it's the truth i swear to god like i liked pace i visited the campus it was nice i'll get to that totally because actually i did not visit oniana yet but that's a whole other story but i visited pace i was like i love this campus you know i'm going here but then it's like it wasn't i don't know i wanted to go there at the same time it wasn't in my heart though like i had it in my head like oh i want to go there you know but it wasn't really i couldn't feel it here and then when i got to oniana i fell in love with the school like i honestly felt like this is where i need to be like it's meant to be i'm meant to go here and you know oniana just it gives you this feel like just fresh air and like friendliness and people are just happy and just it's a cool experience so and i've heard that it's a really good school actually a lot of my high school teachers or teachers that are in my high school went to aniana even the guy like when i got my wisdom teeth taken out i may even upload those videos for you guys the guy at the, the dentist's office was like hey you're going to aniana i was like yeah he's like that's my alma mater and i was like wow really so that's pretty funny but yeah it feels like everybody went to aniana <laughs> But I heard it's a really good school, so I'm excited. I didn't actually get to visit the campus. It sounds weird, you know, going to a college that you did not actually visit, but I don't know. It kind of just time got away from us. We were supposed to go visit. We never went to go visit. But honestly, I feel like I'll still be in love with the school regardless of if I was there or not because I know a lot of people who went there. I've talked to people, you know, stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys moving day and... 
I don't know you guys it's like weird because I have to get used to vlogging and it's so hard to remember to vlog especially when you haven't vlogged before because you know when you're just doing things all day and you don't think about oh I should vlog this you know I have to get used to vlogging because I haven't vlogged ever and it's kind of weird to talk in front of people on a camera like I record my videos in a whole other area of the house I want to let my mom watch my videos like around me it's weird but I have to get used to talking in front of people on a camera so I think I'll get used to it. it just has to come with time of me being used to you know recording myself and vlogging and stuff like that but um yeah but I'm gonna record moving day for you guys all that kind of stuff uh dorm tour most likely hopefully my roommate if she's up for it I'm not gonna just like shove a camera in her face that's kind of rude to like put people on camera who might not want to be on camera so that's why I, like i'm gonna let people know like i'm doing youtube so if i record myself let me know if you don't want to be in the camera because that's kind of like rude to put people on the camera who don't want to be in the camera so i'll probably ask her if she's comfortable with it because maybe we can do a roommate tag type of thing or i can do more videos with her put her in more videos stuff like that so yeah um it would be cool like if there's other people on the campus, especially like, in my residence hall, I do YouTube because we can like collab and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned for those college vlogs because they're going to be coming. I'm trying to figure out like a schedule. Maybe I'll like watch other people's college vlogs video to see how they do it. Like if they record, you know, a video every day and upload it every day or they do it like I know some people do a weekly. They do weekly vlogs. Um um and then they upload it on the weekend i'm not really sure yet depending on how i feel my schedule and everything once i get used to my schedule i'll probably have like a set schedule for youtube because you know i kind of have to do youtube based around my college schedule so i'll figure it out you guys and if i'm kind of like choppy at first and unorganized i'm sorry about that because i still have to you know i'm still in college you have to understand that and i will be busy and i do stuff to get used to my schedule and homework and stuff like that. So I can't really vlog all the time. There are also people on here that make it look easy when they're YouTubing in college, but it's really not. <laughs> There's a lot of hard work that goes into it. So just keep calm and stay with me. Give me give me your patience, stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, I'm really excited. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but I actually have a selfie stick that I never used. I got it, never even used it. It turns out to be a very, very good tripod substitute. So I just took the selfie stick part off like, to attach your phone and just screwed the camera on and it works perfectly, you guys. I was just like, I don't even need to get a tripod. Like I don't have to spend money on a tripod. I got a $5 selfie stick that works just fine. So if anybody worried about getting a tripod, don't buy a tripod. I mean, if you want to, you can. But as far as like getting a selfie stick or a tripod, get a selfie stick, it'll work just fine. And if you wanted a tripod to like stand your phone up or like to record yourself, I mean, it depending on what camera you have, my camera works fine with just sitting on its own and just finding a place where it can stand up high or if you want to sit down, you can. So that's basically just a tip for anybody. Um, so yeah, this will probably be like one of the last few times you'll see me in this room. Cause after I upload like my snack haul video and my DIY headboard video and this one, I probably won't record another video until moving day. So this might be the last time you see me in this room. Cause I probably won't upload my introduction video for my moving day in here. Probably just use the selfie stick. So I don't know yet, you guys. Honestly, we don't know how we're even getting our stuff there because we were thinking about doing like a mini U-Haul, but then we we're just like, you know, use my dad's van or something like that. But yeah, just basically getting stuff. You don't realize how much stuff you need for college until you actually like look at all your stuff put up together. And I was just like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. And it's just like, Oof. and then you have to figure out how to put it all away. And But now that I'm thinking that since me and my roommate uh, don't move in until noon, maybe like we can go up to the room first. And then I like, would take our time because half the people are already be and moved in anyway. So why not just go up to the room first, take our time, and then like see how the room is set up. So if we wanted to change the bedroom or anything like that, we can before we start bringing stuff up. So yeah, that's basically what we're probably going to do. So 
just wanted to update you guys and let you know how I feel about my school and how happy I am about it. I'm really, really happy about the decision I made. Um, I don't regret it one bit. There, you know how you make decisions and you're happy about it. At the same time, you're, you have some doubt. I don't have any doubt about the school or my decision. I'm really, really excited and I'm happy. So, hope you guys are happy for me. And I can't wait to start doing my college vlogs and just showing you guys the Aniana experience.